but okay, it will import the frames and sequence. Cool. And what we'll do is we'll go for filter animated and the motion prediction module. You can also see that there are quite a few other options there. So let's choose this one. A dry run means testing without saving to this space up here. So we can do that. Um, your default setting is something like this. But let's use a test run. You often want to do that before saving up to the space. And let's hit go. So it looks pretty good. And it's, yeah, I guess it's not too bad. Um, let's try setting 10 on this one, 10 on that one. Let's see how that works out. Yeah, it still looks pretty good. The thing though, it's kind of like live because when, when it does the actual thing, we'll get every fourth frame really sharp, which is good in a way, but really bad because it won't look good. So, uh, yeah, I'm just not totally wrong. Here. I could be wrong, I haven't tested this as much as I should. No, I think that's pretty uh, in that description. That these here are kind of like previews. These images are actually sharper uh, than shown here. So the problem with not using a refinement path pass uh, and optimize it is that it will you will have every fourth image sharp, and in an animation that never looks good if every fourth image is sharp. But uh, okay, let's, uh, let's save that you're satisfied with that. I'll just show you what Twins of 8 looks like first. So as you can see, um, this is uh, pretty much like optical flow with the well and Twister. Good thing about Hover is that it doesn't really need that big much resources, and it's twenty dollars. So I think I'll uh, set my final ones to twenty on that one, four on this one. Um, dry run? No, I'm not going to test it. I'm going to render it. Final two. I could set this to five or fifteen, but that's going to take a long time to render, so I'll just hit. Go. That will render all of these guys out to this space right here. So this 30 will jump up to uh, 112 or something like that. Okay. See that and animation. I'll save the sequence. Mm. I'll just save it as TJ for now. We could also choose PNG or whatever. Save it. Our result. That looks pretty good. We could, of course, sharpen this using an upscale. Be aware that you will have some errors here, just like in any optical flow, some errors in this area. 
But anyway, just an op option really to make these kind of renders work. So you could render, uh, you, could re you could render your volumetric light render and light weight or explosion, whatever. And let's say you have 100 frames, and then you can easily make that be 400 frames instead, saving render time. I think I'll leave it at this. So, this is uh, PD Howler motion predictions and alternative to Binge Resolve Optical Flow and Twixter and Topaz uh, Video Enhancer or whatever it's called.